Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 5. Today we're going to be doing some uh, side quests as well as private actions. I'm going to start with the side quests first, though. And I did a lot of this stuff off-screen, just kind of, you know, killing enemies and crafting stuff and things like that. Um, this one we still don't have enough of, so we can't do it yet. Uh, this one, we can actually get that in the next area, but we can't do it quite yet. Okay, I've already killed these guys right here, and, uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. The Western Dakov Tunnel. Oh, they were actually in the center area of the Western Dakov Tunnel, if you ever have any problems finding them. Oh, great, then we get Donatello. Uh, we'll deal with him in the next quest episode. Uh, we still can't make these bombs quite yet. Well, we could, but it's really difficult, so I'm not gonna bother. This is also in the Cygnusalia, and we are going to be going there next time, so we can't do that one yet. There we go. Uh, these guys are all over the place on the passage on the cliffs. Um, they're like uh, little red plant guys, if you're having trouble finding them. And these guys are on the Rizulian Plains. Um, easy enough to find them. They're like little devil guys. Okay, so we did all the quests over here in Rizulia and get a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm going to be going over the books and the new accessories and things like that whenever we've turned in all the quests. So our next stop is the Santa Rule quest board. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, we still can't make those quite yet. We'll do those later. Okay, these you get from the uh, great scumbags on the Rizulian Plains. They drop them very commonly, so that's easy enough. Uh, where are these guys? North of the Eastern... Oh, these guys are in the northern part of the Eastern Eye Head Mountains, and they're all over the place. They're like the only enemy there. They're like little blue crab things. Uh, this guy I'm going to show after this quest board, because uh, he's a named monster. So we'll do his fight then. Uh, Abigail... Oh, wait. Where did she go? Oh, I have a new person. Who with Oh, this Cygnusalia. Perfect. We're going, we're going there next time. Okay. Yeah, Abigail will show as well. Uh, and that's it for here. So, let me show those monsters, then we're gonna move on to Tricor. Okay, well, it's kind of nice that we only have two named monsters that we have to deal with. Uh, here's Horeg, and he's actually very close to Santa Rule, so just warp over the Eastern Eye Mountains, and go all out against him, and he'll go down in a couple seconds flat. And now that we've done that, we're gonna head over to the Soma region, and deal with Abigail. Yeah, with a name like Abigail, you have to be tough. That was actually a quote in the, um... Oh, what was that? What was that game? It wasn't Street Fighter. Final Fight! It was Final Fight for the SNES, and there was a boss called Abigail. And that's all it said about him. The name like Abigail, you have to be tough. It's kind of like, you know, the, the the boy named Sue sort of thing. I've made it to this quest board, and we have to find Ruddle yet again. So we'll deal with that on our own. Let's see. Oh, we made the uh, marbled meat last time with Synthesis. I showed you how to do that in the last quest episode. Uh, still don't have the... F I, I actually have four Mithril. I need one more uh, for that. You just get that through Collection. And you can make it as well, but I'd rather just try to get it with Collection. Uh, who are these? Oh, these are little blue crabs in the northern towers of the Slaughtery. So you just have to go there and kill them. And these guys are all over the place inside the sand dunes. So yeah, just take those guys out as well. Oh, we have a new guy. Where are they at? Oh, they're outside of the Rizolian town. Okay, I'm sure I'll get them sometime. But, uh, let's see. Let's go see if we can't find, uh, where Ruddle is. Huh. Well, once you go inside the inn and you head out of the inn, this guy will have a star on him. Uh, yeah. So, have you heard anything about him? Oh, okay, so he's at the inn over in Medoc, so that's our next stop. Um, uh, yeah, something tells me I'm gonna be, uh, chasing him all over the world. Lovely. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. Okay, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh. Okay, so is he here? Oh, a job in Santa Rule. Yeah. Okay, gotta catch him over in Santa Rule then. Well, we have a person right over here in the middle of town. What do you have to say? Okay. So, where is he at? Oh, Central Rizulia. Okay, yeah. We're gonna be hitting every town. Oh, a girl. 
Huh. Okay. And over by the quest board here in Central Rizzoli, we got this little girl right here. Are you the girl who was looking for him? This little child? <laughs> oh, well, at least he's self-aware. Uh, yeah. That would be us. So, where did he go to? Huh. I'm looking for him. Well, where would he look for me at? Oh, uh, okay. So, he's probably over in stall somewhere. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh, well, hey, there he is. Yeah, you have to go inside of Fidel's house. And boom, he's just kind of standing in the corner. Fido? And what are you doing? You're, like, dancing in the corner like those shopkeepers in Secret of Mana? He's, like, looking all over the place. He's crazy. Um, I never come back to my home. <laughs> I don't think that we've saved one single princess this entire time. No, we're just saving random girls for no real reason. We're not gonna save the solar system, or our planet, or even fully explore our planet. We're just gonna go to, you know, one continent on our planet, all because of these frickin' girls that we have to save. Fidero? Huh. Oh, okay. Huh. So you're gonna open up a shop in Central Rizulia? At the inn in Central Rizulia. Hey, hey, yeah, awesome. So you can get some pretty nice stuff at his shop over in Central Rizulia. So, let's go check it out. Before Ruddle opens up his shop, uh, you have to go back to Tricor and turn in the quest, which I just went ahead and I just did it off screen. So basically, he just sells uh, random materials that you can normally find as, you know, pretty basically common drops off of um, uh, monsters and things like that around. But uh, now you can actually purchase them, so it makes it a little bit easier to buy stuff. Um, let's see, I'll just buy, you know, a bunch of stuff that I only have single digits of, just to make sure I have enough for whenever it comes to crafting and everything else. And now might actually be a good time to make some of those mithrils too, but we'll deal with that next time. So let's look at the stuff that I've gotten um, from doing all these quests, and from, you know, last time whenever I didn't really show anything. So let's see, we have Cyclone Blade with the Manual 7. What does Victor have with it? Oh, he gets this. I'll just give him this, because I'm just double slashing all the time with Fidel anyway, so he can get the Bloodstorm Revolution. And Miki, Sunflare, that's pretty cool. And Divine Wave. Um, these get shared between her and Fiore, so let's see what she has. Uh, Dark Devour, that's pretty nice. And then this one, I don't really care about Absorbing MP, so we'll give her the Dark Devour, and we'll give Miki the other attack one. Uh, let's see, good for the Sun Flare. There we are. Awesome. And now these two have a book to share as well. That has an attack power of 224. Hers, 315. Yeah, triple kick all the way. And also, we got some, um, some better accessories as well. So, let's look at those also. Let's see, where are they? The Light Scarf, it says... Turn 1% light damage taken into MP. I have to wonder. They have all this room to write down the factors, and then they have to, you know, abbreviate it that much. I mean, seriously? What is that? Anyway, it's a bunch of crap. Um, let's see, anything else decent? Ooh, a fairy band. I'm gonna give that fairy band to Anne. She doesn't have anything else going on right now, so yeah, we'll give her that. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here for Victor. Anything good? Anything at all. Uh, 3% attack is decent. Uh, we'll give him that one. Well, you know what, actually? There's a better one that I want to give him. This one, yeah! Attack plus 150! Yeah, that's awesome! And, uh, yeah, get rid of this max HP thing. It's pretty crappy. Uh, what else can I give him? I can give him extra attack. Um, ugh, yeah, like, these accessories, they're horrible. Do you have anything decent? Uh, I can give her extra defense, like that really matters. I guess I'll give you some defense. Do you have anything good accessories? No, not really. Um, I could give... <laughs> I barely even have her equipment on. I mean, she's just awful. I don't even know why they even bother having her, like, join your party. It's just pretty terrible. 
Um, I can raise her magic defense, but it really doesn't matter what you do with Relia, because Relia is god awful. I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do with um, accessories and everything else. Honestly, it doesn't really matter on my difficulty level, and this game isn't that hard anyway. So keep in touch for all the uh, private actions that I have coming up next. Sorry, but could you please explain the concept of pairing to me? It's something you do before boiling vegetables. You peel and trim the corners of the vegetables to make them more round. This makes the heating more even, which prevents the vegetables from getting all mushy. I see. Well, following that logic, then wouldn't it be best to cut the vegetables into the form of a perfect sphere? Well, I guess you could do that, but if you do, you won't have much of your vegetables left to eat. Good point. I'll just modify the gene in each vegetable that dictates growth so they become... We're still talking about cooking, right? Because all that just went right over my head. The only thing I know I can really make is boiled eggs. It looks easy, but there's more than meets the eye to making sure they taste good. I completely agree. At first, I simply couldn't get them to stop exploding. Exploding? Your eggs exploded? Yes. I figured all I had to do was heat them up, so I bombarded them with microwaves, but they kept exploding. Thus, I decided to develop an electromagnetic cooker that doesn't cause eggs to explode. I feel closer to you than ever before. Your experience reminds me of what I went through with researching Signaturgy. I expended several hundred eggs during the course of my research. It ultimately failed, but at some point in the process, I did learn how to boil eggs via standard means. I guess you could say, all's well that eggs well. Geez, why are you so riled up? What's happened to her is a travesty. Who, really? Yes. To be dragged from place to place at such a young age, all because you were given symbological powers. Who knew you had maternal instincts? Don't try to turn this into some joke. Sorry. Apparently there's a boy who's interested in Relia. Or talking to her, at least. I didn't know she was such a charmer. At first, I thought he was bullying her. Now, though, I realize that's not the case. That's how most boys his age tend to display their affections. Relia, you know that boy you were talking to the other day? Have you seen him at all since? Yes. He gave me candy. You've already got him in the palm of your hand? Nice job. Fiore, you haven't seen Relia around, have you? Relia? Yeah, I just saw her a little while ago. She was playing with some girls from the city. Oh, you did? Wonderful. I guess that means the children of the capital have taken a liking to her. And it all started with that boy. Be great if she made even more friends in the coming days. Agreed. She's a cutie, though, so I'm sure she'll get popular in a flash. All right, well, I better get back to searching for her. Thanks. <sighs> she may have friends, for now. It doesn't take long for them to notice you're different. That's where the real battle begins. I hope it all goes well for Relia. Fidel! Fidel! I made a friend. That's great! What's your friend like? He's a boy. About the same age as me. Oh, too bad for me. I'm so jealous of that lucky little man. Fidel... You're weird. Fidel, even though you can't go home, you're not lonely? I'm really lonely, but I'm trying my best to deal with it. I still have business to take care of before going home. That sounds like me. Then how about we deal with it together? Okay. I remembered what my parents were like, how they were around me. They aren't my real mom and dad, but that's okay. When we were together, they were both really nice people. I liked being with them a lot. Really? If I can, I want to see them again. I want to talk to them. Wow, you sure seem like you're in a good mood. That would be because I just received a letter from someone. And what kind of letter was it? A love letter? Yes, it even came with some hair. That's not a love letter at all. That's something a stalker would send. That's nothing to rejoice over. You know, I have been sensing a presence behind me of late. Aha! So it is from a stalker! I think you might be right. It must only be a stalker. What a relief. You okay? I'm fine with this. As long as it's from a human. 
I mean, I'm used to stalkers, after all. You're used to them? You've had a tough life, haven't you? 